I mean, this is badass. We, can, we don't get our logo on everything all the time. This is nice. You know, you want to go, you want to go on a trip? Well, we can, uh, <laughs> can go where you want to be, Ooh. you know? We need a coconut. Hey guys, it's Bert with Shitty Rigs again. I'm sitting down here with Ben from Four Wall. Real quick, why isn't it Fourth Wall? In film, we always talk about breaking the fourth wall. I feel like you guys missed the joke by that so, much. Film isn't everything, he says sitting at Cinegear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the idea was you rent a four walls of a studio and we bring everything in. So it's four wall rent. Perfect, okay. We're sitting in front of one of your video walls right now. You were nice enough to put our logo up, but this technology has taken something away from the key grips that have been building packages. They all green screens. Now I don't get to use them. How do you feel about taking that market away from them? <laughs> no, but really, you know, we don't, we don't want to show up on set and take anything from everybody. Let people do what they do, but still have the new technology. Absolutely. So the end goal is, you know, to have the, the grips building this with us and bringing everybody together to build all this technology. It's different work, but it's better paying work is what Absolutely, we're hoping yes. for. Okay, yeah, no, so it's just different different tools for different situations. We've got two cameras here. Uh, you have the, the red, but then there's also a little phone here. I thought you were recording two files, but it, apparently the, the phone's actually doing some kind of tracking for the video Absolutely. behind us. Actually, somebody else thought we were monitoring through the phone, but this is our kind of small solution for demo floors and things like that. Normally we're running Stipe Red Spy or Mosa Star Tracker, but it requires us to put stickers somewhere on a surface for another camera to follow, just a larger setup. So we found this app and it gives off 3D data using the AR toolkit. It seems like, like the video file is moving at different rates behind us. Can you just talk a little bit about like how that's working? Yeah, definitely. So I think a lot of people know about camera tracking in 3D worlds. What we're doing here, especially here at Cinegear, is trying to show that you don't have to build these giant, massive 3D yeah, worlds. We're, we're in like a 10 by 10 space exactly. right now. This is, yeah. So what all we did was had our content person build a couple 2D plates. And in our software, we can actually acknowledge they live further away in distance through the viewport of the wall. Okay. And so you at least get sort of the difference in parallax between those plates. Yeah. And we can mimic what you know, depth of field would look like. What we can also do is blur some of them and not others to kind of blur through the field to try to help create That's that awesome. depth. Sweet. And we can do it really quickly, which is... You yeah, know, so we have a cafe and there's yeah. some people around. Or a little this is the different exactly focuses. Is. This is, wow. But then this is, as somebody named it aptly, our Suits Q. So, awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Thank Sweet. you, Matt. Thank you for talking with us.